Welcome back. In our previous tutorial, we had uh, loaded the index page where we were listing all the users from our database. We also were able to create uh, three buttons, one of them for viewing, another one for editing, another one for deleting. But for all these buttons, when I click on them, there is nothing that they are doing. So I would like us to just put functionality for the delete button in this tutorial video. And so when we open our index dot view page we can see all the code that we had there and then of course here we have the buttons we have the buttons here the three of them so one of them is delete and we are interested in this one so i'm going to just um, handle an event here so when we click this button i want us to just have a method that we are going to call destroy and in this case we are going to pass the customer id like that whenever that met that button is clicked and i would like to go ahead maybe we can say at click dot prevent but even though it's not a submit button i i don't think it's necessary but i just have it like that then after that here i would like to have a function that you ha handle uh, that so function function uh, destroy and then we are going to pass in the id and just to check that everything is working i would just want to alert and i just want to to alert to have an alert with the id so let us give it a try and see what happens so i'm going to yes our page is already uh refreshed by the hot module replacement so when i click delete you can see we have an ID of three. When I click this one, we have an ID of two. When I click this first one, we have an ID of one. So everything is fine. So the next thing that I want to do in this method, I would like us to now process our delete function. And what we are going to do, we are going to uh, import a, a helper, in this case, uh, a module which is called router so in this case it will assist us to to just make maybe the request and i think we did use it in our previous tutorial so we will import it here so at inertia js forward slash view 3 like that and for this one, if you do not want to import it in every uh, page that you are having or component, you can just import it in the app.js file and then every other thing will be fine. But in this case, we have not done that, then it means we are just going to do man it manually. So in this case, I'm going to use it now and I'm going to type router.delete. Uh, and in this case, we are going to pass in the route that we are, we are posting, or in other words, we are sending this request to so customers. And in this case, uh, I would like to just concatenate the ID. So you do it like that in JavaScript, that is what we do. And then, um, not just the ID like that, and then we will have it that way. So this, you send a request with the ID to customers uh, delete method. Now in the web.php, I would like us to create another route here. And in this case, we are going to have route delete. And inside here, we are going to pass in um, customers. And then after that, we will pass in the ID, I think is just fine like that. So we are going to have a method here which we are going to have it as a customers. As you see, all of them I'm starting with the keyword customers. Just sort of like um, the naming convention that uh, we use in Laravel. So here I can pass in the ID like this. And then every other thing, customer controller. I will copy this. 
so you have a comma and then paste that one customer controller at destroy and I haven't created that method so far so if we go back and uh, hit this as you can see we are going to get that it is not found in this case so uh, what I'm going to do uh, is to just go and create yes the method does not exist is to just go and create that method I was getting route not found because I had not saved this file so I will go to again our customer controller then I'm going to create a new method here maybe let me create it at the end here and we are going to have it as a public function destroy like that and uh, since uh, we passed in the ID we can be able to pass in the ID here and maybe just to check you can just say return ID like that and we see what is going to happen so uh, we'll uh, refresh this page and try to click on delete again as you can see we are getting the ID of 3 and this one we are actually getting from the controller so for us to be able to delete the user we are going to just say uh, maybe we can say customer and then uh, find uh, then customer we 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 find we check the customer from our uh, database using eloquent then we can say find or fail or maybe find by id like that and then now maybe we can also just maybe say return customer we see if we are going to get the customer that we intend to get maybe their details so when i click on this one this is john doe and now you can see we have john doe the email the phone created that every other thing here now of course sometimes you might uh, use a json resource to hide some of the fields if you do not want to show all of them but for now we i really do not have an issue with that there is a shorter way in which we can be able to do this we can just uh, use instead of uh, passing customers then id we can just pass here customer that is using root model binding customer like that and then now once we have it like that we can be able to access this uh the current customer that we are looking at by just saying uh, return customer just like that but then here we will change this one to the customer model and then the customer variable like that so once we have it like this still this you'll be able to uh, give us the details of the customer but you can see it says all inertia requests must receive the va valid inertia response and this one is plain json so in this case of course we are just trying to find out if we can be able to just do one or two things with our application now of course the next thing that i would like us to do is now to go ahead and uh and, and delete this customer so in this case i will just instead of saying return customer i'm just going to say customer delete like that and this we effectively delete our customer and i would like us to just redirect back to customers uh, dot index so in this case i'm going to going to just copy this and paste it here as you can see we are not doing any messaging the flash messaging and all that to just tell the user that the record has been deleted we are not doing that one we will do that all that in a specific uh, tutorial video so let us attempt and see what happens in this case if we attempt to delete a user so let us attempt to delete John Doe when we click as you can see the user is 
automatically deleted and if you go and check in the database you will still not find this user so that is all for this tutorial video thank you very much for following up until this moment i ask that you may subscribe if you have not subscribed because it really means a lot to me thank you very much